What's up, you guys? This is One Glass Gamer here. Welcome back to some more Dead Space 3. Let's go. I know I'm totally rushing through my introduction, my intro, but you know what? Any excuse to play Dead Space is, uh, you know, good for me, honestly. Even if it means rushing through my intro, which I have literally, I, I've never, like, I've been using the same intro for, like, years, dude. Anyways, um, yeah. Do I have... Okay, so we picked up a plasma core. And I think there's another piece around here somewhere, wasn't there, that I couldn't pick up earlier? Can't remember. Or maybe I did, who knows. Alright, let's... See what we can do here. Uh, I'm gonna work on this one. Uh... Oh, there we go. Plasma core goes on the lower <coughs> tool part. So what's this gun going to be like now? I'm wondering. Should be pretty interesting. Let's take a look at our... Um... That's not what I wanted to do. No, I wanted to... Oh, here we go. Okay, uh... We could use some more ammunition. So... Let's craft an ammo kit. A couple ammo kits. And let's get this party started! Alright, we're going this way, right? Yep. Isaac, I'm sorry about that. There's so much going on, I- So Norton, huh? I mean, that was quick. The world is ending, and all you can think about is us? Damn right. I never gave up on you. Oh no! You get up on the world. I paid my dues. Or don't you think I'm fucked up enough already? Isaac, this is do or die. We're stuck without your help. Are you with me? Doesn't look like I have a choice. Perfect. Now what? Damn. Yeah, um... I think I'm gonna switch my weapon. Uh. Oh, fuck. <laughs> uh. Bitches. <laughs> Fucking tentacles, get out of here. The fucking the blowback on that thing was insane. Like he went flying back when I shot him earlier with the fucking plasma board. I just felt the need to uh, destroy that tentacle because why have that tentacle be alive when all of his freaking brothers and sisters are dead? I know I have a really dark way of uh, thinking. I have a dark mind, man. Especially when I'm playing these games. What the fuck? What the fuck, Sicole man? 
That was not funny. Oh, whoa! Okay. Oh, I made it. Isaac Carver. All secure here. All the others still live. I'll meet you at the Admiral's quarters. Don't leave me waiting. Okay. Uh oh. Progress is saving. That means some shit's about to go down. Do it! <laughs> Bitch. What is this? I never noticed that. I never noticed this either. Okay, cool. Oh yeah, we got these mini games, which are honestly super easy and kind of pointless. Like all you do is move the right and left stick around to, you know, get these things right here, which is super fucking easy. I don't know why they didn't just stick with the old like hacking uh, thing where you ha he hacks into the terminal. Actually, I think those are actually in this game. I'm saying actually a lot. Actually this, actually that. Okay, dude, you are actually annoying. <laughs> uh, what the hell? What the fuck? Okay. The Admiral was obsessed with making a key. A key to what? Hey, a key to what? Some sort of alien device. A machine. I think that she believed that it controlled the markers. Oh my god. She wanted to turn it off. She wrote that over and over again like a mantra. Or instructions. This is exactly what we've been looking for. This isn't just some random planet, Isaac. They found the source. The Marker Homeworld. You've got to be shitting me. Marker Homeworld. All right, let's regroup in the control room. We can plan our next move from there. Clark, shake it off. Let's go. Clark! Look at this, man. Look at this. I guess this planet's not so beautiful after all, now that we know how uh, deadly it is. Damn it, Marjorie. Brave men and women down in that ice cube. Soldiers that could be fighting the war back home. Somebody tell me, for the love of God, what the hell are you looking for? We are looking for hope, General. Oh, good God. Support for the war and our ability to fight it are dwindling. We are out of resources, we are out of public approval, and we are out of time. Just answer my question. What? Markers. You must be joking. No, General. I'm not. I will be sending Dr. Serrano to your quarters to give you a full briefing. What the hell? I didn't know you got a fucking achievement for that. Buckle here. Crack down a scrapped transport shuttle. It's called the Closure. If we can get it spaceworthy again, we can use it to reach the planet's surface. No chance. We find the shuttle, then we're getting the hell out of here. Damn it, Robert. If we don't stop the markers, there won't be anything to go back to. Either way, it looks like the shuttle's our only shot. Where is it? In the biggest ship of the fleet. The Terra Nova. But it's a long walk. Well? They must have had some way to travel between ships. If there's a way, we'll find it. Huh. The 
plot thickens, man. Good afternoon, General. Admiral Graves asked me to prepare this information for you. When the black marker was exhumed on the earth in 2214, it defied our understanding of science. It appeared to generate limitless energy, a trait of obvious importance in our resource-strapped times. There was an effort to replicate the mark, hoping to understand its technology, thereby acquiring limitless energy for ourselves. Imagine our surprise when we learned they are not sources of energy, but receivers. Via carrier waves from somewhere deep in space, triangulating this marker We hope to find the source of this signal and finally harness the energy for ourselves. And if this works, it could mean a better future for all of us. General, thank you for your time. Good afternoon, General. Admiral Gray is asking to prepare this information for you. Alright. I figured I'd show that. Oh, shit! this fucking uh, plasma core on this thing. Like, it's not really that great. <laughs> it's kind of lame, but whatever. Oh yeah, this door is open now. I believe there's just supplies and stuff in here, yep. Damn it. We do not need that many med packs. Ooh, we got the shotgun blueprint. So we could put a shotgun literally on top of our fucking... Or we could just make a shotgun. I don't know what I'm talking about. <coughs> Clearly. Uh... Isaac, there you are. Where is everyone? Finding a way off this wreck. Santos, tell him what we found. Of course. We found a little maintenance craft. A skip. It doesn't go very far or very fast, but it will take you to the outermost ships. Here, I'm sending you the coordinates. Now, let's get the shuttle so we can head home already. Hey, hey. We'll get the shuttle first and decide what to do with it. I'm heading out to take a look at this. Skip. Alright, I just uh, upgraded the rate of fire on this gun right here. No, this gun actually. So, that door's not open, is it? I'm guessing not. There's a box up there, but I'm not, I don't really want to climb up there to go and get it, honestly. See whatever's in there. Ooh. We got the suit kiosk. Um, we could change our suit because we got all this stuff here. But this is my favorite one right here. But I'm not gonna uh, do that quite yet because I just want to like stick with the suit that we have. You know, there really is no need to to change it right now. I will in the future. Don't worry about that. Isaac, Gordon here. Why are you contacting me on a private channel? Because I need to know if you're on my side. We're taking sides now? I know you two had a thing, but she's mine now, and I love her too much to let her do this. If she's right and this is the mark of homeworld, maybe there's a chance of stopping this. But we both know how this is going to end. 
If they found a way to stop the markers 200 years ago, don't you think we'd all be safe by now? It doesn't add up. Oh, I get it. I get it. You think you and her... Yeah, look, we'll forget it. She's over it, all right? Oh, my God. So... We are now at my least favorite part about this game. One of my least favorite parts. The stupid, annoying... Transmission. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Do you guys hear this? My rig's picking up some kind of looping message. It sounds encrypted. It's coming from the research vessel CMS Greeley. This could be really important. If I get a chance, I'll check into it, Santos. Isaac out. Optional mission, got our first side quest, which we're actually going to be going to do right now, just to get it out of the way. Um, but yeah, the annoying love triangle between Isaac and Ellie is one of my least favorite parts about this game. Honestly, I fucking hate it. Thankfully, it doesn't last for the entire game, but the next, you know, couple hours of the game... There's going to be a lot of annoying fucking conversations like that between Isaac and Norton. So just be ready, I guess. I don't know. I feel like this was the first time that EA really, EA really started to get involved with this game. And something just tells me, I have a sneaking suspicion, that the whole dumb love triangle was EA's idea, not Visceral's. They're like, we need to try to find some way to make our game super fucking dramatic, so we're going to have the typical, stereotypical, I said typical twice, we're going to have the fucking typical love triangle that everyone hates, because, you know, EA is really good at not listening to their fans. Did I even get anything out of that? Let me see. Oh yeah, ammo. We're doing pretty decent on the ammo. What am I... Oh, no, I'm taking on this optional mission game. Leave me alone. I'm trying to find the entrance. Dude! Get out of here. guys even alive in zero g how can you survive in fucking actually not zero g in space oh my god i don't even know my favorite fucking video games of all time that's how dumb i am when i've when i'm under the influence <laughs> wink wink i'm just kidding Oh my god, dude, no one cares. <coughs> hey Santos, I made it inside the Greeley. Any luck with that encrypted message? No, but if you can find the source, maybe we can find a way to decrypt it. Roger that. Isaac out. Alright, we're on our first side mission. I actually really like the side missions in this game. I uh, think they add a lot to the overall experience, like the story and everything. Because the story is, you know, it's not the most original story in the world. It's definitely very cliche at times, but um, Santos, looks like parts of the ship are sealed off. Sealed? On purpose? Do you think you can get it open? I'm not sure. If I can get the power on, I may be able to lift the security lock down. Hold on. Get the power on. What I was trying to say is that 
Dead Space 3 doesn't have the most original story. It's definitely kind of a cliche story at times, but there's a lot of um, interesting facets of the story, if that makes any sense. I don't even know if I used the right word there or whatever. Ugh, my god. I am such an idiot. You are such an idiot, man! Only when I'm not, you know, in when I'm not in college. When I'm not, you know, focusing on what's important. I can act however I want, okay? Ugh. I'm arguing with myself. That means I've gone absolutely crazy. Okay. Down the ladder. Yeah, um, with this game I'm not going to be doing the whole chapter per video thing because, like I said in the last part, the whole mission structure in this game is uh, a little weird because of the side missions and all that. Power's on. I see it. The lockdown is originating from the radio room. Set my waypoint. I'll head there. Bitch. Going this way, right? Yeah. Yeah, the mission structure is very weird, so whenever I record, I'm gonna record for like usually I'm gonna try to record for like uh, I found the radio room. Just give me a minute to release this lockdown. I'm gonna record for like about an hour with each record like recording session. And then I'll just split the videos up into two parts. So that's my plan with this playthrough. Since this game is definitely the longest one out of all of them in the, the franchise or series, whatever. Oh, I hate these things. Man, I really do not like these things. There we go. I told you! I don't know! These frogs have been encoded method clinicized. Are you trying to contact? Dr. Serrano? Tell me! They barricaded themselves in with the broadcasting equipment. If that's where they want to die, let them. Yeah, it's safe to say some fucked up shit has gone down here, obviously. <laughs> Bitch! Yeah, I fucking love the combat in this game. I love it! Alright, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go into the bench. And... We're going to craft... One of those. One of those! One of those! Okay, enough, dude. We're going down here, right? Yeah. First off, I'm gonna use that tungsten... Thing, tungsten bar I just crafted to get in here. These are basically like the power node rooms in this game. Alright. Got another upgrade thingy. Rate of fire. What about this? I want that. And 
okay. Um, okay with what we got there. We need to get, you know, that, you know, we got some okay stuff. Wasn't horrible. What is up with this room right here? What the hell? Bitch, where the fuck you at? There we go. Okay. Ugh, why is my eye so itchy? What the fuck? I was wondering if I got anything for shooting that. What the fuck? These are like bodies, dude. Just freaking weird. Like, cut up fucking bodies. Ah! You know what? Forget it. I don't care. No, I do care. I must see what this is. Why can't I pick it up? Okay, whatever. Ah! Wait, what am I? Oh, we're going over this way. Okay. Oh, duh. Can I pick it up now? Yes, I can. Really? Really, man? I wanted to see if you got anything you were shooting at. Really? Really, man? Okay. Stabbing the shit out of us. Perhaps we should use our other weapon and give that weapon a rest. Oh, uh, never mind. Whenever you're faced with those guys, it's always good to use fucking some sort of machine gun or assault rifle. Charge. Why can't I pick that up? Martin, 
There we go. Just ammo, okay. Oh no! Now I know why all this ammo is laying around. Cause of that bullshit. Man, get out of here. Freaking annoying ass lid. Isaac, what is that horrible noise? Uh, I think I pulled out something I shouldn't have. The gravity plating is tearing itself apart. The message is a warning to someone named Serrano on the planet surface. Did you find a way to decode it? Yeah, the encryption key is in the office of Laura Ingstrup. Oh, let me see if I can find it. Yes, here she is. I'll send it to your locator. Whoa. This is pretty sketchy. Yeah, this is definitely sketchy. Eh, <laughs> that's what you get. Exploding guys, you know, leave me alone. Got it. Hey Santos, I'm sending you the decryption key now. I see it. Hold on, I'll apply it to the message. Rosetta? Who's she? They must have been trying to hide her from the execution order. Her research could be the key to all of this. But why issue a cleanse order if it would destroy such an important secret? Maybe they panicked. Or maybe they knew something we didn't. Isaac, thanks for looking into this. It could prove very useful. Good to hear. Well, I'm heading back. We've got a long road ahead of us. Isaac out. Ugh, don't remind me, man. The thought of it is just overwhelming me. Actually, no, it really isn't, but... Whatever. I don't really take video games... I mean, actually, I'm not gonna say that. I was gonna say I don't really take video games too seriously. I just play video games for fun, but... The games like these games, for example, I do take very seriously because I love these games a whole lot. Uh, so that was kind of fun. Like I said, they uh, the the side missions they give you interesting bits of the story, 
they fill in certain gaps and plot holes and yeah, I actually really like them. So, yeah. But now we're going to be continuing with the story. So, what I plan on doing whenever I do a side mission is since I'm going to be doing two videos per recording session, I'll probably just upload both videos at once. So, if you guys want to skip those fucking side missions, then you totally can. Or these side missions. I don't know why I'm talking like freaking in past tense or whatever. Uh. All right, here we go. Terra Nova, let's go. This this little thing is pretty cool. I'd like to have one of these skips. And we have arrived. 